Hello everyone, so today I will be showing you guys how to use an exciting new feature on MathKeys, which is a custom buttons feature. So custom buttons is basically just allowing you guys to create buttons with the own with symbols that you guys put in on your own. So if you want a symbol that's not on the classic keyboard, you can make that. So if you want a custom symbol, there's two ways that you can do that. So the first one is inputting it directly into the extension using something called LaTeX. So LaTeX is basically like sort of a language that codes for math symbols. And LaTeX is pretty self-explanatory. So for example, if you want to write out any Greek symbol, you just write out wherever the symbol is and press space. And if you want to uppercase, you just capitalize the first letter. Similarly, like if you want a right arrow, you just press right arrow. Or if you want like product notation, you write prod and it will make that. So say you use this a lot and you want to make it a custom button. What you do is you press settings or you can press on any empty button and you can go in. So you can see that I already have some custom made buttons. And so there are two sections for making buttons. The first one is button name and the second one is button LaTeX. So button name is basically what will show up on your extension. So if you want like products, you can write prod and now prod will show up. But say you don't want that and you want the actual symbol to show up like this one. What you do is you go into here and you could find the HTML symbols and this is just all the math symbols. And you can find here there's product and look at HTML entity, this one, and it's and prod semicolon. And so usually they're all self-explanatory like this. It's usually like an and and then whatever the LaTeX code is usually prod and then you add a semicolon and then you write slash prod here. And if you don't know what the LaTeX is, you can press here. And we actually have a whole page on LaTeX in our math keys website. And so you can just look through all of this and you'd find prod in here. So now you've got this down. So what you do is you press save and you open this and now you have this new button that has not only the symbol on the front, but also has the function. So now when you press on it, it has the same effect as just using the LaTeX prod and you can put whatever you want in here. So if you're looking to add more buttons, make sure to use this feature. And if you like it, please give us a review. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me using the feedback option on our website. So you can just look at the feedback form and you can type in your first name, last name, email, and then explain what your question is. All right, thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy this new feature.